Christmas is my most favorite time of the year, and nobody does it better than us Pinoys. We are just crazy over the festivities, and of course, all the delicious eats that come along with it. Being diehard foodies, Spanky and I decided to treat ourselves for the season finale. Hey guys! Yeah! We invited oh all of our favorite chefs to cook us our ultimate Noche Buena. Steph and I wanted to have our favorite chefs cook for us. Yes, we're spoiled that way. But it just so happened that it would also be our Christmas episode. Mm. So we decided to invite an all-star cast. In Wonder of Wonders, everyone said, Sure, let's eat! It's perhaps the first time on Philippine TV that such a group of the country's best gathered together to celebrate the happiest season of the year. That looks amazing! I'm Spanky Enriquez, and I've been blogging about food for 10 years. I also write for the Philippine Star's Let's Eat magazine, and this time, we're going to TV. I really love food, and how can I not? I'm Stephanie Zubiri Crespi, food, travel, and lifestyle journalist with an insatiable hunger for life and all the deliciousness it has to offer. I love the stories behind the plate and produce. Join us as we dig deeper into the stories and into the dishes. Let's eat! Hey guys, welcome to the season finale of Let's Eat. And speaking of seasons, it's my favorite season of all. It's, it's Christmas! It's the most wonderful time <laughs> of the year. Yeah, it's a really extra special episode and that's why we have our fellow columnist from Philippine Star, Cheryl Chu and the famous Claude Dayag. The one and only Cheryl. My pleasure. The legendary cloud. Yes, yeah, so to join us in indulging in our favorite Christmas. I can't Eats, wait. Eats, right? Yeah. Uh, it's a long, long, savory and sweet episode. So without further ado, guys, please join us for a wonderful episode of eating, drinking, and merrymaking. Let's, Let's eat! Hey, guys! Hello. Yeah! Oh my God, Merry this is, Christmas! Oh, so this is like one of the most amazing tables I think the Philippines has ever seen. All star yeah. cast. Yep, exactly. I am honored. Yeah, and I know you guys are busy. Chefs are super busy, right? When it's this time of the year. So we really appreciate you taking the time out to be with us. What we've done is we've chosen our favorite chefs here in the Philippines and we've had them bring what they wanted to have for their ultimate Noche Buena, making this our ultimate Noche Buena. So we're going to start with Chef Cyril, Hello. who is actually Maître Cuisinier de France, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. so we're very oh. privileged. Oh. Not just, not just any, any friend, right? with his lovely wife, yeah. Anna, of course. So tell us what you brought today and okay. why is it for so Christmas? Like that. So Christmas is um, usually it's like when you do food at home, it takes a little bit more time. Slow cooking, right? Yeah. Different yeah. than the usual things. So then you have to extend your appetite time. So that, that's exactly what This I'm is ready. my favorite from um, Brazilian uh, season. That's something yeah. that you can enjoy yeah. when even when your guests arrive, but the, um, the, the setup scene is not yet finished. Perfect. Your turkey or your lechon or everything is not yet done, so you just enjoy that. So here we have the rillette. It's pork rillette. Mm. All see, homemade, right? You know, yeah, with the French baguette, of course. <laughs> and the chicken liver. Is, is there any nice other kind of baguette? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then the pâté de campagne. And the pâté de camp, that With looks... With a little bit of pickles in that, just to give That a looks bit of amazing. So, our next chef we have here, of course, is Fern Arakama. He's one of my, my buddy buddies. Oh, Yay! Sorry. He's so kawawa, he came all the way from New York. So, what did yeah. you make today? Right. For me, Christmas is smell. It's what you smell it and what, that's how I remember it. And this was something that uh, Abuelita used to make. My, my grandmother. I, I know it's, it's, it can be called relleno, it can be called, um, how is that, a balotine in, in, in French, but for us it's galantina. It's, and it's chicken and it's uh, stuffed with pork meat and chicken meat and then a lot of chorizos, uh, a lot of um, olives. And in the drippings, we just you know, gla deglaze it with white wine. And you know what, a lot of people don't know, it's really difficult it to is. make. And it's so hard because you have to debone, you have to... I, I had to learn that the hard way. I learned it uh, through looking through a cookbook pa because she passed on really early. And I, I was making this since I was like probably 18. My own addition to this, I did not touch the recipe. Mm -hmm. My only touch is I have a dried cranberry mustardo to go with it. 
Okay, our last but not the least chef for our savory dishes mm -hmm. is of course the master of roasts and cochinilla himself, Jay. Thank you, Steph. Here we prepared for you a uh, cochinilla asado. Um, this is a 40 day old suckling pig. Wow. Looks delicious. It overnight and roasted for a couple of hours. Uh, we serve this over some uh, potatoes that were roast underneath the. Oh my uh, god, that's the best so with the dripping. And it's nice when it's that size, to be honest. The, the taste, the flavor, the tenderness, it's really, really good, you know? I have a question. How many are you working on the 24th tomorrow? We all work. You're yeah. on the 24th? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then the, even on the 25th. So we have to thank you on behalf of... Uh, all of us. Well, I know how here. difficult it is. Yeah. I used to have this cater. I'm so happy I'm not working. <laughs> I can just eat on Christmas. <laughs> but I really understand how difficult it is for chefs, especially you know all these special occasions. That that's where you're busiest, right? right? So Christmas, Valentine's, all these things you're supposed to be with your loved ones, but because they're your loved ones, they understand, right? So, so this one is for you. That's why we're having this party. Thank you. Very yes. Much. I guess without further ado. Yeah. Let's, Let's eat. eat! Yes! Okay.